Lockheed Martin is developing a new air dominance missile for the U.S. Air Force and Navy with significantly greater range than the Raytheon AIM-120 IMRAM as a counter to China's new PL-15 weapon, a top U.S. Air Force official says. Dubbed the AIM-260, the Joint Advanced Tactical Missile is scheduled to begin flight testing in 2021 and achieve initial operational capability in 2022. It has a range greater than IMRAM different capabilities on board to go after that specific, next-generation air dominance, threat set, but certainly longer legs, he said. As I bring up joint advanced tactical missile production, MROM production is kind of going to start tailing off. Estonia has signed a 40 euros million worth contract with Eurospycom for the purchase of 18 Spike Andy tank missiles and ammunition, additional equipment, technical support and training. The Center for Defense Investment, RKIC, the state body responsible for defense procurement on behalf of the Estonian Defense Forces, EDF, and other organizations, and representatives of Eurospike signed the framework agreement for the procurement on Thursday. BNS reports. The agreement covers a seven-year and includes an option to purchase additional units. The first Euro spikes are planned for delivery to the Estonian Army in Q3 2020, and will be utilized by the infantry brigades and the tank companies. Indian Air Force Jet, LCA Tejas may soon get made in India Cavery Turbofan as GTRE revives program with SNECMA. Various jets and helicopters part of Indian Air Force's arsenal, and especially the LCA Tejas, may soon get made in India air gas turbine engines, as GTRE scientists have revived the program with the help of French aircraft engine, manufacturer SNECMA. An effort to this regard was pioneered by the gas turbine research establishment under DRDO's guidance to develop an aero-gas turbine engine for the light combat aircraft Tejas. The engine named Cavery, which was subsequently developed, was tested in both ground and air, but could not be inducted due to low thrust and high weight. Thus, the LCA Tejas aircraft are now fitted with U.S.-made General Electric engines. There's now a renewed hope for this Indian program as the GTRE scientists hope that after having tied up with French aircraft engine manufacturer SNECMA, for the completion of the Cavery project, the latter as part of Rafale offset deal would help in its induction for LCA Tejas, and other Indian-made aircraft. The government has already spent over 2,000 crore Indian rupees as part of